Well, we are here with Kenny and Greg, and this is kind of exciting, and the burden that they have, they've shared with me, and now we're bringing it to you. And so, guys, take it away. Why Why are you here, and what are we talking about? Uh, Greg Privy here. Uh, as followers of Christ, um, you know, we're, we're asked to love Him and, and love other people. Um, love is definitely an active word. It's a verb uh, in action. Uh, I don't really think there's a thing called passive love. Um, it's active. It requires some sweat equity. And wait, wait, wait. What, what did we call it earlier? Sweat equity. Sweat equity. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So you know, serving serving others is serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. And and the Lord's made it very very clear to my heart that I need to quit thinking about serving and to start acting. What can I do today? And um, you know, from previous serving experiences. Um, the amount of joy and fulfillment you get from serving and loving on other people, there's no comparison to that. So, um, you know, want to wanna get really, really good at that and then help lead the way in that area. Sure. Kenny, okay, what's your burden? I mean, it's, it's similar. Yes. Um, I feel like, you know, God has been showing me a lot through these um, last couple of years of uh, being here at CCW and, and the journey that we've been on. And I just feel like, you know, my mom told me recently that people want to, they want to see your faith and not just hear your faith. They want to see your words and not just hear your words. And I really think that that's what God is leading me in, in my life. And I think that's such an important thing for a church family. And I, I think God is, is calling us to be the hands and feet, to be doers of the word. Like he created us with, mm -hmm. with gifts to go out there and to make a difference and we have those unique gifts and together we have a bunch of them that we can do some amazing things. And I just felt God was like really calling um, and speaking to me about looking after each other in our church family, like in our community, like reaching out to a brother and a sister and making sure they're doing okay. And, and how can we lean on each other to strengthen each other to together make a, a, a big difference for the kingdom and for the community that we're in. So we're talking about some tangible things like walkways and, and and maybe some building repair kind of stuff what what's what's your heart on that what would you like to see what do we want to accomplish that's my question what are we trying to accomplish you know i think it you know just want to be faithful servants sure uh, want to you know want to be obedient want to love on other people and the needs probably look different for every person that has them out there so um i think it's it's wide ranging you know from you know trimming shrubs and hedges at Sharon Guthrie's house, they're helping out the faith mission, um, tr you know, trees that have fallen down, cutting those up. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I, I feel like whatever the need is, I think f people should feel comfortable to bring those forward and, and let us go to work. Is there a need too small? No. So, so a broken toilet, they, they can contact us and we can figure it out. Absolutely. All the way down to something big, and if it's beyond our pay grade, then we'll figure that out too. Yeah. So I think that's cool. So so as we, not to make this too long, but as we start talking about this, we're, we're calling this faith in action. Why are we calling it that? We're living out our faith. Yeah. We're doing something. Yeah. So people can look for this sign or symbol of faith in action, and they can contact the church. If they want to get involved, it, this is more the merrier, true? Absolutely. And we'd like to see that. Love to have them join us. Yeah. And if there's a need, I hope they're not embarrassed, but they just reach out and, and as the body of Christ, we can help each other. Amen. So, all right, guys, thank you very much.